All right, guys, welcome to a brand new video. And today we're going to talk about something interesting. We're going to talk about the looks and features and feel of MIUI 14. Now, MIUI 14, of course, is going to come with Android 13 on majority of the leading devices like this one. That is the Mi 11X, although this is a little old, but we do have a glimpse of the future. And that's what we're going to talk about. This right here is the Mi 11X running the latest China beta and a lot of things have gotten updated recently. So it's going to make for an interesting video. So do stay till the end. But before we get into the details, if you haven't already, please subscribe because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. And without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. Now, what you see right here is MIUI 13, latest China beta running on the Mi 11X, of course. I've fixed it using root and other stuff, but that's not the topic of today's discussion. Now, the moment you dive into the account settings of MI account, you will see that the user interface has completely changed. Although over here, there are no major changes, but yes, this is definitely a change. The new design language that they are planning to, you know, incorporate on MIUI 14 can be seen over here. Now, there are a lot of apps and menus where you will see the live changes in this latest beta and some additions will be shown to you on a screenshot. So please bear with me. Now, moving on, the recorder, as I covered in one of my latest videos about MIUI 13.1 apps, it does have a new user interface, which means your recordings will now be segregated using the location as in source. Where did you record it from? Was it the recorder, calls, apps or FM radio? So that is another neat addition. Now, we did speak about the system launcher and this is a notorious uh, app because it keeps getting updates every now and then. They keep experimenting with it. Some features are removed, some features are added. But with MIUI 14, if you click on widgets, you will notice that you have a completely new redesigned look. As you can see, you now have recommended and categories. Not to say that the MIUI 13 widget menu has still not come to global devices or for that matter, Indian devices. So as you can see, it needs internet access. And the moment I turn on Wi-Fi, I do get different categories of widgets. And in weather as well, as you can see, there are different types of weather. In clock, I have different types of clocks. And if I actually go ahead and click on one, let's see if it can allow me to, oh, it does allow me to add it to the home screen. Now, as you can see at the bottom, there is still a bar available over here. So if I click on it, let's see if something happens, no. So there are two different looks over here. Moving on, if we actually go to the recommended section and say we add a widget from here and add to home screen, as you can see, it says security over here. So if you pull at the top, nothing different, but yes, it is very, very smooth, very, very cohesive and it works absolutely fine. So the new widget menu in MIUI 14 is definitely going to look very, very smooth and beautiful. I really hope they optimize it for low end devices because that is where Xiaomi has been lacking. You do get a search menu over here, which can allow you to search your widgets on the phone and online as well. At the same time, you do have recommended widgets over here. Now, of course, this is China beta. That is the reason you're seeing this in Chinese. Right now, moving on, the launcher did get a few additions. For example, don't show text. When you enable this, you will be seeing text over here. If you go ahead and disable this, that means you tick it on, you will not get text below your apps as well. So I would have preferred, you know, a separate setting for icons and widgets, but that's completely fine. Even if you go to more, you will now have a preview, a live preview of three different types of home screens, which I did show you in the previous video as well. But yes, that is definitely available. Now, another neat addition in the recent menu is over here, when you see the memory, just like Realme devices, you will now be seeing extended RAM. Let me quickly show you a screenshot over here. Now, as you can see in this screen, let's zoom in over here. It does show 3.8 GB available of 8 plus 3 gigabytes. So this is a welcome change that will be coming in MIUI 14. Now, it of course is a gimmick. I still feel that, uh, you know, this addition of virtual RAM or extended RAM is a gimmick, but yeah, they are adding it anyways, right? Now, moving on, we do have some changes to the Volti icon as well. So for that, what I'll do is I'll quickly go ahead and turn Wi-Fi off. And you will notice that I will get two HD icons over here. Now, even in my opinion, what this does is it takes more space and there is so much, you know, limited space that you have on the status bar. 
So for that, what they are doing in MIUI 14 is they are going to unify it. Now, as you can see over here, HD 1 and 2, both the SIM cards are displayed over here. Now, I understand this; these are very, very small changes, but come on, it's going to be a gradual upgrade. So you will not see a huge revamp. Just like Android 13 was from 12, MIUI 14 as well from 13 is going to be a gradual upgrade with very, very subtle changes. Now, the messaging application over here seen in this ROM, of course, is MIUI messaging. So that will be getting an upgrade to version number 14 with some new features which are still unknown. Now the major changes that you will see is there in the gallery application. So let's quickly go there first. Now as you can see, the gallery application is very bouncy, very smooth, works fluid. So it's, it's really, really an upgrade compared to the existing gallery that we have on Indian updates. You do have photos, albums and recommended in which you do have this on this day feature just like Google Photos. You can create a collage, clip, cutout, community, art, ID, video editor. So basically all sorts of editing functions are available. Even if you go to settings, you will notice that there is a newer UI over here along with the feature of recognize text in images now this is a direct adaptation of android 13's taking you know picking up text or copying text from images feature so that has been added to the gallery which is a really really neat thing now apart from this there are a bunch of system applications that are getting a redesign for example on calculator you do get these button sort of look earlier it was flat and over here you have a new ui with new animations so that is a good thing even if you look at the clock you will see that the clock does have a new user interface over here as well. Very, very smooth and subtle. Even if you go to the camera application, although there are no major changes over here, the moment you go to more, you will notice that you have things like sticker avatars and documents. These features have been available earlier, but now they will make their way to the global devices. Earlier, they have been available to the Chinese devices only. Now it's time to jump into some screenshots which will give us very very interesting information of what exactly is to be expected, right? This is of course Xiaomi's upcoming 13 Pro. It is running Android 13 with MIUI 14. So that's a very very good indication that MIUI 14 is around the corner. And moving on, as you can see, this is another system app which has been updated with a newer user interface. It looks much cool. This is a compass app we are talking about. And the major highlight of MIUI 14 would be finally, yes, finally you will be able to uninstall system applications like gallery, downloads, you can just directly tap and uninstall. So very, very neat if they get it working in global devices as well. And over here, as you can see in the notification panel as well, you'll be able to make changes to permissions and notifications and stuff. Unlike Android 13, which requires you to go to the settings menu every time. Now, this is another neat addition. It's a little ironic to see from Xiaomi, but that's okay. So let's give them credit for what they're trying to do over here. They are going to come up with something called as anti-fraud protection in which your calls, messages, apps, screencasting will be protected. Now, as you can see, restrict permissions automatically, receive warnings about financial risk. That is a good thing for apps. Receive warnings when verification codes are forwarded, protect calls. So you will be automatically able to filter spam calls, which is a really, really good thing. And you can also identify unknown numbers. Location permission has a new user interface as well. As you can see, approximate location, precise location. This is of course a screenshot, but yes, this new UI looks cool. Very, very close to what Android 13 looks. It's just the colors and the shapes that are different. What has also changed here is the sidebar. The sidebar in this update doesn't have that feature, but in MIUI 14, you will be able to pin app actions or app shortcuts, whatever you want to do, like you tap this and the app action happens. So that is going to be a neat addition. Along with this, the file manager, of course, has recently received a huge update, as you can see. But if you actually go to, say, install any particular app, let's go to APKs and say, let's try to install Chrome again. The permission manager, the app installation wizard is completely different. It scans, the animation is there. It tells you what permissions it is going to use. So this yet again is a more transparent way of installing the apps, which is really, really neat. Now, you know the control center, right? Which all of us have loved and hated. Now, right now what you see here, let me actually go to the control center. This is the MIUI 11 control center and this is the 13 one. What is gonna happen with 14 is MIUI 13 control center will come here and over here you will have a preview of the MIUI 14 control center. 
Also, one small addition that they are going to do is adding the look and feel of Android 13's music player widget on the lock screen and in the notification bar as well. So all in all, when Android 13 hits with MIUI 14 on Xiaomi devices, it'll be interesting to see how well does Xiaomi carry over the smoothness of Android 13 because remember, Android 13 is splendidly smooth. I'm using it on my Pixel and on the Poco X3 Pro. By the way, installation video coming up for X3 Pro guys, so stay tuned. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video. Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.